Celia, este es el momento para que demuestres de lo que estás hecha. ¡Azúcar! Parece que es una mujer la que tiene loco a todo el mundo. ¡Eso! Pero si es una niña, chico. ¡Uso de Hilaria, serie caridad! I am Jessica Ferrer for Entertainment Affair, and I am here with Modesto Lacen yeah. and Jamie Osorio, yeah. the young couple of Celia, the new series for Telemundo. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank I you. loved your characters. Pedro Knight, you look so much like Pedro Knight. I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, it, it, it was a surprise. I This is the second time I play Pedro. Uh, I portrayed Pedro in the Off-Broadway show in 2007. So this is very usual. Like, this is common territory for you, then. Uh, yeah. Nice. It is, it is. Like, I know the story from A to Z, and uh, it was a pleasure, but now it's different, because mm -hmm. I portrayed Pedro in the play as an older guy. Right. Uh, so everybody remember Pedro with, with, you know, his sideburns, white hair, yeah. the respectable, elegant guy. This time around, he's a womanizer, he's a yes. player, he's a player, <laughs> that's the word. And it's, it was it's a great experience, it was fun, but very different from what people thought. Yo soy como la mente abeja. La que me prueba no me deja. Mañana por la noche tú pasas donde estamos tocando. Entre toque y toque. Yo me voy a separar. No, no, no. No, no digas eso ni loca, chica. Tu esposo es militar. Me voy a encontrar hasta debajo de la tierra para ponerme a respirar para adentro. Trying to, to get a little bit more of That's this amazing. Cuban yeah. essence. So right? you had the, the full Celia experience, right? Well, I tried my best. Yes. <laughs> Gracias, pero usted me dijo a mí que yo no soy no, 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 olvídate de todo lo que yo te dije. El color de la piel no tiene que ver nada con el tono de la voz. Y tú tienes un tono glorioso. You portrayed beautifully. You did a great job. And I love what you guys have together. There's one specific scene where you guys are on the dance floor. Uh -huh. And we already know that this is going to be great. Like, there's magic going on. Oh, my God, thank you. I yeah. love it. I appreciate it. I mean... We we know each other for some years now, and we have. Oh. Uh, and we uh, met. We met in a party, met. and we, yeah. we we danced the whole night. The same yeah. night we met. So. Wow. Yeah, and you know during you know the process it was beautiful because you know we trust each other, and uh, Jamie important. for me is like a, the sister I, I never had. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get along, and we we have a lot. We have of, lots of things in common, lot, right? Yeah, we think of, the same, but we we dress. We can dress the same colors We every single day to go to work. You guys are in sync. Yes, yeah. you're pretty sync. I love it. Yeah. You know, I was talking to um, the older uh -huh. Celia and, and Pedro Knight, uh -huh. and um, they said that they did not get a chance to work with you directly. No. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering between the two of you working together um, on set, the dynamic, what that's like, you know? Because, I mean, obviously you guys already know each other, mm -hmm. but when it comes to getting into such iconic figures and iconic characters, you know, how, how does that even work? Well, you know what? Uh, it's it's the third time I, I portray a, a living person. I did a Roberto Clemente wow. play, and also I did a play on Rafael Hernandez, wow. the composer. And one thing I, I've learned from that those experiences is that you cannot think about them like the big figures or the big people they were. You have to think about them like human beings right. in order to portray them. You have to be, I call it irreverent. You have to just be like a human being. You have yeah. to forget that they were icons. You have to forget that they were stars in right. order to give those characters dimension and, right. and to give them 
Jews, and in order to portray them truthfully, you have to forget about them. So much responsibility that lies on being an actor. Yeah. Especially for you, is that you are a Celia. You know, we get to see you for how many years? Like a long time, right? Yes, they were talking about maybe 60 um, episodes. Wow. So, yes, I, I, I say that's pretty much what uh, Modesto says. Um, I try not to think about the responsibility or how mm -hmm. big she was. I was just trying to be as simple as she could be when she was younger. And, and not to think about that responsibility, just enjoy the moment and flow with the character, and flow with my, my surroundings, so. Bésame, bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Bésame, bésame mucho. Que tengo miedo a perderte, perderte después. Let's talk about the the clothes, the fashion. I mean, there's so much mm -hmm. going on on screen. I mean, I mean, you guys obviously bring a lot to it, the dynamic, mm -hmm. but also the clothes. I'm sure helps so much. <clears throat> a lot. Love. I mean, like, yeah. uh, I'm one of those actors that when the wardrobe department does their job, it helps me so much to get into character. The okay. shoes, the jackets, the colors. I mean, it was interesting because Pedro Nani was a very elegant and very yeah. suave kind of guy. Mm -hmm. So the suits that I had helped me even further to yeah. go to that, uh, you know, that body language, yeah, that yeah, salsura, yeah. you know? Yeah, lo rico, lo rico. Yeah, that helped me. Lo latino. Lo right? latino, it helped me oh, a great deal. I love that too. Me encanta que hay tanta cultura. Porque vemos en, en la televisión, ahora mismo en los Estados Unidos, mm -hmm. hay muchas cosas con mucha diversity, there's a lot of diversity going on, mm -hmm. pero me encanta que ahora la televisión latina también, colombianos, mexicanos, cubanos, puertorriqueños, eso es lo que somos, somos una sola cosa. Exactamente, me encanta, the diversity is so cultural. Yes. Sí. Y él yes. habla, que se puede hablar ahí como uno quiera. Y... Claro, claro que es, sí, es eso. que ahí está la sabrosura y el trabajo como este que son tan específicos, mm -hmm. estamos hablando de cubanos, entonces Exacto. no solamente nosotros, todos los actores que no son de Cuba, trabajamos mucho, con mucho respeto, pelando el acento y con gran admiración por ese pueblo hermano. Qué bueno. Sí, sí, y, sí. y estuvieron en Cuba, donde la filmación fue en Puerto Rico. Grabamos en todos los alrededores de Bogotá, grabamos en Santa Marta, que es la costa, grabamos en Puerto Rico, en el viejo San Juan, yes. y grabamos en los estudios Paramount aquí en Los Ángeles. Qué bien, o sea que ustedes han tenido un viaje sido bastante heavy, sí. pero han visto yeah. mucho. Pues tuvimos la oportunidad de conocer, caramba, qué sí. oportunidades tenemos de conocer los estudios Paramount de Los Ángeles. Sí. Ay, no. en Colombia, muchas ciudades, Girardó, Onda, volvimos a Puerto Rico a grabar, wow. así que es una, una experiencia maravillosa. Sí. Sí. Ay, chicos, ¿me puedo quedar aquí todo el día hablando con ustedes? Claro. <laughs> 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 Me encanta la, la química, this is so amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. And do thank not you. forget to check these guys out. And Celia premieres in Telemundo on October 13th. Thank you, guys. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> ah, claro, ese es Celia Cruz. Si tú crees en tu sueño, no hay nadie que te pare. Y ahora en adelante va a conocer una nueva serie.